Stepanski as well. Both of them are behind the net in, in the offensive zone. And you're looking, you're looking about and you're going, how did they end up there? You know what I mean? They're so keen to get forward, so keen to pinch down, which can benefit you sometimes, but, you know, that aggressive, aggressiveness to pinch um, is, is going to cost us, and, and, and you've got to accept that as part of their game, if, that, if that's the way they're going to play. Um, Stephanie, in, in terms of a Slansky, I mean, obviously... Um, he's been one that's had a couple of fights. He's stuck out for me. Um, Bjortland coming in to back that up. I thought Bjortland just looked like class coming yeah. in to kind of shore up the defence on Saturday night. What, what was your reading the two of them? Um, to be honest, Bjorkland was a kind of a, a standout player um, for me on Saturday night. Um, I've seen Oslansky more in the kind of pre-season games, but for last night... I- um, Bjorklund was just absolutely outstanding that as well I have to say I'm really really impressed with Jordan Boisa he was so hungry to get his first goal in that game last night you could see that um, in as well over the pre-season game so for me Bjorklund was fantastic but I need to give a shout out to Boisa as well I was really impressed with him yeah. and uh, sorry Jennifer Craig Sescon uh, he didn't really want to fight um, not that he didn't want to fight it, it, it wasn't the right time for the clan to get involved in a fight um, when that big gun, what's his Dallas Earhart? Is it, is it Earhart? Earhart, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Went looking for him, and you knew it, Earhart went looking for it. But you know, once he decided to go, to me, he won in points. Cesco won in points. He get far more big hits and uh, big punches in than, than Earhart got in him. Um, you don't mess with Craig Sesco, do you? <laughs> no, there's a there's a picture in like Al Gould's photo set where you just kind of see that moment where Earhart realises that he's picked on the wrong guy and he's probably going to get a sore face after um, after the fight is over. But no, um, it prob- as you said, it probably wasn't the best time in the game for it to happen. But you know what? It got the arena going. It got everybody going. Yeah, we conceded a goal literally a few seconds after it. Um, but after that, we got it back. So... Um, it's, it's obviously had its desired effect. You've got to give the guys credit. You know, five imports short, taking on a team who basically have been a full roster of imports to pick from, uh, having played, I think they've played at least three games together. I might be more than that. And they're coming in with a point to prove for their coach, a couple of players who used to play here, and the clan... Um, basically bossed the game um, for me. Although we, we went down to 3-2, I just didn't... It was one of those games I didn't feel we were going to lose once I'd seen the way they played for the first period. Um, and, and, and it gives a lot of encouragement to, to you when you think you know, you've know you still got what you would consider. Well, Schofield, I think, is going to be a big scorer. Petone is going to be a, a major player and a big scorer. And you've got two guys who we don't know who they are coming in. You're thinking your top line still to arrive, Graham, yeah? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, this is this is the whole big question that we talked about last week. It's uh, there's the. I mean, with all due respect to the guys that we have, we are, and certainly on paper, it looks to be a case that we are missing uh, a lot of our top line quality. It's, you know, that's still to come in, so that's going to completely change or should change how we look as a team uh, once we actually have that. So, I think in terms of what we have at the moment, I think what we've seen. Is is a good roster assembled by Tripper that is solid and and has you know okay there's some downsides to it as well at this moment at this early stage but there's plenty there to give us encouragement and we talked about that last week and that hasn't changed um, but yeah I mean come and you know I think we're going to probably talk about it later but it's really down to how soon we can fill that roster now we've got two signings yet to take place. So, you know, how much of a delay is that between actually even announcing these signings once they happen and them actually arriving? Um, it's not a good position to be so many imports down at this particular moment in time because this is it. We're two weeks away from the league starting. Uh, not really bothered about the Edinburgh competition next weekend. They said I'm not even going, but, you know, in two weeks' time the league starts and I would really like to think that it will at the, at the very worst be two bodies down. Um, but who knows? Yep, yeah, again, I think that's something we'll be coming on to in a general discussion um, later on in the programme. We, we went down to Manchester tonight. I mean, after last night, I was thinking, well, we've really, if we play the way we did last night, we've got every chance of, of nicking a, a result. The pressure was now on Manchester to kind of even it up, if you like. Um, obviously, we, we went down 4-1, and in the end up with Dotty getting a, uh, the goal for the clan, I think he, had a shot and Clement basically backhanded in his own net to be fair um, but Dottie get the credit for it as, as far as official scorers are concerned Hammond and Becker and Rosal all scored tonight um, which is ironic as well um, as, as, as Manchester ran out 4-1 Wizards have you 
having watched that game, you know, they looked like, to me, the best way to sum it up, uh, Stephanie, was they looked like a team who were five imports short. Um, you know, unfortunately, I didn't watch webcast, so I can't actually say what they looked like. But going from, you know, the comments that you're seeing on social media right now, um, they do, um, well, they did look like a team that was obviously, you know, tired. And, you know, we do have to remember we are running five imports short. Um, we also didn't have the, the luxury of having like Esther's here tonight, for example. So, um, yeah, I mean, to be honest, I'm, I'm, re- I'm not really concerned. Um, we've shown, you know, some really good positives already and there's a lot of excitement around this team. So, you know, get those those imports in and um, we're going to start seeing, you know, big changes. I'm not really concerned right now. Yeah. Uh, Ryan Nye faced 42 shots um, and conceding all of the goals, that the, you know, four goals, one was an empty netter. So three three uh, goals conceded out of 42 shots is not bad. We mm-hmm. only put 26 shots up. On the net, does that tell a bit of a story about the game for you, Jennifer? Yeah, we didn't really have um, anything too exciting going up front. Um, Storm were kind of completely on us and we were going to that hole struggling to clear the zone again. I think there was like one point just after a penalty kill that we still weren't clearing the zone and Nye pulled out this absolute amazing save just to kind of break the play and break the pressure on him sort of thing. And I'd, I'd seen on Twitter last night that somebody had come up with the, the hashtag denied, which I think is going to be, um, <laughs> that's certainly got to be um, one of the, the sayings for this season, um, every time that he stops a goal. But yeah, no, Nye played absolutely fabulous. Um, can't take anything away from him at all. Um, just that we didn't have too much going forward. And as we well know from previous seasons, um, Becca and Hammond are so good at firing it away when, when they're comfortable and in their own rink. So um, that's their own rink now. So I'm not not surprised we, we lost. No, no. I, I mean, as I said, I had a bit of hope after last night. But realistically, um, as I said, we're playing like a team of five imports down. Yeah. Another thing I noticed... Plus they were stuck in that traffic jam on the way down as well. So. yeah. Yeah, that's, the face that's, off never, that's always un- unsettling if you don't get that whole relaxation before a game. Not that that's ever an excuse, but um, nobody likes sitting in that M6 going nowhere. So no, absolutely not. Um, one of the things I noticed, Graham tonight, and, and maybe last night to an extent as well, um, and I think it's something else that John Chuck will probably be not happy about was the amount of unnecessary penalties that we were taking. Is that something that stood out for you? It was, uh, and and again, I think that's I think a large contribution to that is just the fact that we are five imports down. We've got players who are uh, struggling against a more or less full roster team. I think Storm are just missing one uh, tonight, and uh, and getting tired, uh, which is going to happen when your when your roster is that depleted. So uh, that's what happens. You make mistakes. Your timing's a little bit off. Your judgment's not absolutely perfect. And yes, there were some daft penalties given up tonight. But again, it's it's not ringing any alarm bells. If we were doing that with a full roster, then I'd probably be a bit more concerned. But not in the in the current state our roster's in. So, uh, but yeah, it's, it's something we have to keep an eye on. But I think there are reasons for it. Overall, people, you know, I have to say, if you told me on Thursday night as I was walking out of the arena, we would have split the, the series, if you like, one game each for Manchester, I would have taken it. Uh, I mean, overall, I, I suggest we're, we're happy with that, Jennifer, yeah? Yeah, I know, completely um, happy with that, yeah. And Stephanie, I, I, I take it again yourself, you, you know, would you have been happy with the one game coming into the weekend? Um, yeah, absolutely. Um, considering how far we're down, I'm over the moon with that, to be honest. Yep. Next weekend, uh, we've got, I don't know, I don't know, I mean, when I do my stats, I talk about, I, I, tra- I generally don't track friendlies at all, I only track the Challenge Cup, the league and the, you know, the playoffs, the Scottish Cup next weekend, um, I don't particularly th- class this as a proper competition, I'm not, I mean, you know, Graham, I, we spoke about it last week as well, it's, it's a kind of strange, I mean, it's come at a great time for us. Because let's face it, um, for what we're led to believe, Shattuck's going to be here some point Tuesday, I think I heard. Somebody else said the weekend, but looking like Tuesday, if you believe some of the things you're hearing. Um, Patil, eh, not Patilny, sorry, Schofield doesn't have his visa. He tweeted this morning, still waiting, his visa's all packed up, ready to go. Uh, God knows where Patilny is in that line. Um, it's given us a wee bit more time, uh, another fortnight to get our act together, isn't it? 
It is. I mean, you've, you've, you've kind of said already exactly what I was thinking. The the Scottish Cup is a money maker. We've, we've been through all that before. We don't go through it all again. It's it's a money making exercise at the start of the season. It is it is a pretty good idea as we acknowledged before. Uh, the timing may be not perfect, and I think we're a wee bit critical of the timing before. But as you rightly say, it probably suits us a bit better now because we still have. Well, as we keep saying, so many players down. If we get maybe one, possibly two players in this week, and it's more likely to be one, then then fine. At least it just gives Tripper that bit more time to to sort out lines and see what he's got and what have you. But as you know, as, as a as a competition at this stage, um, yeah, fine. It just it just doesn't really perk my interest at all, to be honest. I mean, Jennifer, we want to win it, but. Do we care that much? Not <laughs> <we> really. <laughs> no. No, I mean, it's, as you said, it's exhibition. It's getting Edinburgh some money, but I'm really not even interested at all. I mean, I'm, I'm working Saturday um, until late anyway, so um, it's not. I'm not even planning on going. If there's a webcast, I might watch that on Sunday, mm-hmm. um, but I've got no interest in the games. Just hope um, nobody picks up any injuries. I, I might wash my hair on Saturday, so... <laughs> <laughs> I've got no plans to go myself but do you know I say things like that and as it gets closer I might be kind of getting itchy feet but you know at the minute um, I've got guitars to look after uh, my spending habits have just changed a wee bit in the last few days um, you know we're not looking at a competitive game again until the 16th when we play Milton Keynes and Milton Keynes we've got that double header with Coventry as you know Game, you, uh, you said something there about the challenge, uh, so the Scottish Cup not being a priority. And again, I think we, we might come on to this with the Challenge Cup, but is the Challenge Cup's not a priority, does it? We're starting it with five imports short. <laughs> <laughs> well, this, this is, you're, you're now taking me into what, we're, what I was really going to be talking about. The, the, the problem is the Challenge Cup is one of the major trophies of the season. It's the least of the major trophies, but it's still a major trophy. It has a well, no, I don't want to call it a glamour final, but it has a final, and it's there's a bit of hype around it, and it's and it's a bit of an occasion. The way the league managed the competition is still all wrong. We thought we got away from doubled up games until the Fife Belfast episode, so even that hasn't gone away. But you know, let's be honest about it. I don't think anybody's particularly overly excited about the Challenge Cup, especially now. Certainly last year, and again this year, it is treated more as a competitive pre-season, if you like. Um, but it's there, and it's a trophy, and it's a trophy to be won. And if the clan happened to win the Challenge Cup, we would all be extremely excited about it. And if we obviously we got to the final, there'd be a lot of us going to the final. So, um, given the the club situation uh, in terms of, I mean, we've already set our stall this year about budget, which I don't like to hear. I mean, it's fine us having a rip about budgets from time to time, but when the club are coming out with, well, you know, budget limitations and everything else, that, that kind of saddens me a little bit, to be honest with you, especially before the season's even started. But nevertheless, we have a chance to win silverware. And, yeah, we're five imports down at this stage, and we're compromising our chances of progressing in the Challenge Cup. And to me... I just think as an organisation, and there's all sorts of grey areas here and a new coach and everything else involved, but I just think that a club going into its eighth season, we should be a bit better at, at, at getting ready for a season than we currently are. Uh, no matter we've never, who the coach We've never been this low with imports before, though. Exactly, Starting that's what I'm saying. We should have... We should really, to me, you know, we keep going on about, sorry sorry for interrupting, we keep going no, on about how we are now the professional bread Glasgow ice hockey clan, um, but we start the season five on Port Short. It's unacceptable, and I must admit, I tweeted out a couple of days ago, and, and it's, I'm not, I'm just putting it out there, can you imagine the meltdown if Nottingham Panthers were going into the season five imports down? It would be... Steelers. Or the Steelers, any of the big teams, any of the big teams that we should be aspiring to. Steelers have that many injuries now, I think they are. Well, well, that was an excuse for getting pumped tonight, wasn't it? They picked up up another one tonight, believe it or not. Levi Nelson got taken to hospital. Hospital? Yeah, but anyway, so the point is, you know, we're not the new boys anymore. We've been around for a fair while. We've been very close to success, etc. All the stuff we've we've talked about so often. But here we are going to the eighth season, five imports down, and budget, Brexit, new coach, all that sort of stuff. But surely to goodness, as an organisation, we are better than this. And that's the bit that I'm struggling with right now. 
I know there's all sorts of reasons, but yeah, the I was just line... going to start doing the devil's advocate thing, throwing yeah, yeah, that at you. But that's fine. you know, we've, we have went over them before. The new coach, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, and you know, we might not have got Petroni if we tried to get a team together in time. You know, we might not have got Scofield. Well, Scofield was signed a while ago, but you know. 